Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Miss, otherwise known as Man Like You, and I'm back with yet some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So uh, yeah, in the last episode we defeated Cell, and uh, now we're going to speak to Piccolo. Uh, um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. What is it, my, uh, my cat? Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but... I'm trying to continue my training. Good kid. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah. yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. Yeah. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. And Vegeta is not fighting anymore. Uh, he said that in the last episode he, he was not keen on fighting anymore because of Gohan being that strong and Goku, of course, being dead. So... I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. Oh, you still have. But if Cell or some new android show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. No. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> So, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now. So you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack... Is mental fortitude. That is true. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but... Why don't you try training with Vegeta? <laughs> He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. I mean, you could try. Alright, so um, yeah. It was Captain Corporation. Let's find that on the world map. There we go. I mean, I like the fact that there's just cities on the world map, and then they have Capsule Corporation, because their building, like their home, is that big. <laughs> it's actually mental. All right. Oh. Better find Vegeta so I can ask for his help. All right, where is, where is young Jeet? Can I scan for him now? Oh, I'd like to no. breathe. All right, where, where is Vegeta, though? Ah, he's over here. I mean, he is not, but of course he's in the gravity. <sighs> what do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. He's just disregarding the strength of Vegeta completely. Like, that's... Don't be absurd! <laughs> you think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him! You arrogant, spoiled little brat! <laughs> huh? But I... Damn it! I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now! Alright, that that was fast. Come at me! I'll beat the arrogance out of you! I mean, okay, fine. We're stronger than him anyway, so it's fine. I mean, we have the ability to go Super Saiyan 2, so, um, should we do that immediately? I'm going to see if you have yeah, you know what? To fill in for Let's just go immediately okay. to Super Saiyan 2, come on. Alright, we're Super Saiyan 2 now. Alright, could you just stop your blast attack? Bro, we're so much stronger than you, come on, come on. Come on, with the big blast, with the big blast. Uh, come here, come here, bro. That almost killed him. That almost killed him. Alright, you know what? One attack and he's dead. 
did all right. <laughs> think how much you remind me of him. That was easy, bro. Vegeta? Nothing. We're done. <laughs> He's so salty. Oh, I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad for the guy, you know. You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? Yep. No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kagarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. Nope. I I need to do some serious soul searching. I, I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it though. That's fine. As long as you can protect the Earth and hit the books. It's fine. <laughs> Greetings. Didn't they? Oh, I hate this, you see? I, I'm just going to <laughs> skip this. So <sighs> I hate when they don't fill in the lines. This thing's filled with power. I hit to watch Kami's lookout. So we're going to visit Dende now? I mean, we are just jumping around in this episode, apparently. <laughs> From place to place. I sure hope Gohan's come back soon. Uh, bro, I'm right here. Should we creep up behind him? Take a look at this dude. Take a look at this dude. He doesn't... Okay, never mind. He noticed me. What's up, little crack? Huge ass sensor bean. What you want? <laughs> Greetings. Oh, they don't yes. even have this here. Uh, increasing Shinron's mm, power. Let's see. What do you, you know what? I'm going to skip this because I hate the fact that they don't fill out the lines in. Because this is the main story. When they don't do it like that, I, I don't care about the uh, the side quest and everything. But with the main story, where they don't fill out the lines like this, right? That kind of pisses me off, you know. Excuse me. What? Hey. Huh? Yes. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going. Hey. I'm just going to fast forward this. All right, I got a bag of gold dust. What? Sure. Right. Yes. But then again, uh, it, it still it still pisses me off that they do it like that sometimes, because it, like as I said in the side quests or like side stories, you you can you can do that. I don't care. Don't put your full focus on this. But when this is part of the main story, I'm not keen on it. I I, I think it's disrespectful like this. How is that sound? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. Like this. You. Alright, I hand it over the bag of blah, 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 blah. So what are we gonna do? Hmm. The location of the rainbow crystals has been marked on the map. Alright. Right. So what are we going to collect this? <laughs> Head towards Southeast Island area on the world map. Alrighty then. I think I found it. It's near Kame House, near Master Roshi. By the way, have you guys seen the uh, with the manga or the side stories with the Galactic Patrol? Everybody's in it now. It's kind of it's kind of weird, you know. I wonder how Master Roshi is doing. Alright, so it's way there should be at least. Oh, it's on the sea floor. Ah! I think I can take this guy. I can take this guy. You know what, I like doing that, you know, just because I get instant EXP. Alright, so it should be down here, and that's a Dragon Ball as well. It's fine. Alright, so, uh, search minerals on the seafloor. I can't believe I shipped that large sink. Alright, so, where is this shit? Alright, there's someone, something here. Alright! I found a rare fish! Uh, fancy earrings. I mean, that's not really what we are looking for. Uh, but hey, it's fine. We're looking for minerals. Oh my god, I need to... Alright, I just need, quickly need to get some uh, some air. There's a sunken ship! No shit, sir, luck. Is this one? Because when it says on the sea floor, oh, oh, it is. This is this one. Ah, it's fine then. You know what? Let's go to the comma, the comma house. Oh no no no! I reckon some of you would be pissed if I don't take the Dragon Ball as well. 
because there's a Dragon Ball right here somewhere. I reckon it might just be on the ocean floor, but I'm not really sure. Uh, oh really, where is it? Where's the Dragon Ball? I'm actually confused. No, actually, where is it? Oh, I need to get some air. Holy crap, you need to warn me about that stuff. Is it inside? Don't tell me I'm doing this thing where I'm blind again and people are just yelling at me. Because I've done that sometimes. <laughs> you guys get pissed because I can't seem to find it because I'm apparently blind as... Do you know what? Screw that shit. I'm going to find that in my own time. You guys don't have to wait on me. Just because I'm slow, so... Sorry. Let's head towards uh, Kami's lookout. Dende Kami. What's up, bro? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Still, I, th I don't think this should be in the main story. I mean, just because he's trying to upgrade the dragon. Right. Oh, we got the soul, uh, soul emblem of um, of Shenron. Nice. Hey. All right. Oh. I can edit my party now. I don't care. I just want to consume. Head to watch Goku's house on the world map. Yeah, I think I think this is going to be um, another one of those episodes where we're just roaming around doing main stories that should be side quests. Because really, th that that should have been side quest, like gathering minerals and stuff like that. Ah, come on, man, that's not good. All right, talk to Chi Chi. I mean, we could ch train with the Ox King, but nah, he's a prick. Ah, he's not a prick. Ah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright. Hi, Gohan. Ready to come home? Yep, I'm back. Are you sure? Yes. Finally got your priorities straight, huh? That's my boy. While you're at it, how about losing the wild hair? No. Fine. I I'll tone it down. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. Okay, okay. I'll limit it to my training. No! School, huh? <laughs> That'll be something. Oh, that, that's right. He's never been to school before. Oh, that's crazy. Alright, we got a lot of experience. And we got an achievement called Heavy Metal. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. The people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. However, during times of peace, People have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. True. Such is the fate of mankind. I mean, that's just how it is. Alright, we get a story preview. I think we got that in the last episode as well. Yes, lad. Ooh. <laughs> With Kid Buu as well. Majin Buu reborn. Oh, that looks awesome. About seven years had passed since the confrontation with Cell. This is the quiet settlement of Satan City. Satan City is the Here awesome resides movie. Mr. Satan, the man mistakenly believed to have saved the planet. The city was renamed after him for his heroism. Gohan is now 16 years old. With no schools anywhere near his country home, he had no choice but to do homeschooling and correspondence courses. But eventually, his mother, Chi Chi, decided to send him to a high school. In Satan City, armed bandits began appearing so frequently in Satan City that Gohan began to run into them on his way to school from time to time. The Golden Warrior. To combat the crime in the city, Gohan would transform into a Super Saiyan and make short work of those that disturb the peace. To protect his identity, 
Gohan made sure to leave the scene as quickly as possible. Right. That's Videl. The mysterious hero came to be known as the Golden Fighter, and rumors quickly spread about his true identity. Wasn't it the Golden Warrior? The oh. Golden Fighter again, huh? Who the heck is this guy? From Super Saiyan to Superhero. Ah, oh, no! Don't tell me we're going to get that costume from Bulma and everything. Ah! Oh. That took way too long. I need to hurry. But we're like a young adult right now with Gohan. Oi! Take a look at us. We all grown and shit. Alright, but then again, I think I have to end this episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, we are we are adults now. I'm a young adult, 16 years old and everything. It's cool. But yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care and uh, peace.